Brandon and I have been friends for over 22 years now, and would you believe this is our first time stepping outside of Ireland together? Bran is moving to the pearl of the Indian Ocean, Sri Lanka, to help with wildlife conservation. I have tagged along for his first week to help him settle in and explore Sri Lanka's historic architecture, wild safaris and ancient ruins. First things first, we needed phone sims, passport stamps, a rucksack and a car. What is this guy? Here? I think he's actually Suzuki. Or a uh, Valana Axia. Or... Maybe, yeah. We could do like an acapella thing. But neither of us can say. No, no. <laughs> You're like, no, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely shower that can be seen <laughs> from our bed and the bathtub. What? Look at these views. You can see the uh Tulip Tower. <laughs> oh my god. We're on the 27th floor of our hotel with panoramic views and an infinity pool right off the edge looking over the ocean. Alright. So, and he was like, are you jealous? Are you jealous? <laughs> cool. He doesn't know what's coming for him. <laughs> oh. First stop. There's one noisy engine. Yeah. <laughs> site is a particular great example of that beautiful mix Colombo seems to have between the modern skyline that you see all in the background, even on top of me and right beside this uh, temple, and the production of what's going on into the future, right next to some of their most historical sites. A lot of these sites that we've been going to, they're hundreds of years old. Uh, Buddhist, mainly temples, because that's the predominant religion.
Oke, oke, nice. What do you say for cheers in Sri Lanka? Huh? You know, like, cheers? Cheers. Just cheers. Just say cheers? Cheers. Yeah. All right, cool. Fair enough. That I can remember. It's different than Ireland, you yeah. see. Keep it simple. Okay, you can do it a little whatever you are. Yes, officer, here's the footage for him speeding. <laughs> I'm not even. No, no, it's really hard. <laughs> this car can't speed. <laughs> it physically cannot go over the speed limit. Not that I've seen a speed limit sign since we got on this road. Yeah. I don't even know what it is, to be honest. <laughs> Two hours, 17 minutes. We've done this like when we were in Colombo. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely just insanity the whole time. Oh my god. Oh. How they don't crash is like, oh, it's like beyond me. So we're now, we've just arrived at this place up north and it is lashing rain. But we're going on our first ride in the safari. Ooh. Okay, great timing, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Is it rainy season here? It certainly looks it. At least we have these covers to keep us somewhat dry. <laughs> Do you mind being in it if you are? Like, <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> you need a YouTube star. Hi, <laughs> uh, you know you do. You want to introduce yourself? Hi, <laughs> Aminu from Nirvan Safari Lodge. Yeah, yeah. We are starting our safari today. Excellent. This is what the national park. I think the leopards are all going to be hiding now because of the rain. You know. <laughs> they don't like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> if we do see them though, you're going to be well ready with that. <laughs> Look at this, show it off, go on. Look at that! It's not even fully extended. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! <laughs> this is clearly not my uh, expertise. I'm going to stick to the architecture and leave the animals to the zoologists. <laughs> yes, sir, I actually work in, um, in Dublin Zoo back in Ireland oh, okay. as an educator. Okay. So I apologize in advance if I have a million questions for you. No, no, it's okay. You can expect me to ask all the dumb questions. <laughs> uh, just leave it at that. <laughs> so, just so I'm clear, that is a peacock, right? <laughs> Again. In the Phoenix Park, couldn't we? Fran, we're gonna get it on his supersonic telephoto lens. Well, I'm getting photos of his back. That's 
Right yeah. There you go. Okay, so we've got Brandon's big head. <laughs> and then I zoom in a little bit. Zoom in. Zoom in. And then... Boom. Like, that's so hard to see. How would you ever spot that? Yeah, honestly, fair play to ever caught that one. That's why it's so special to actually find a leopard because, I mean, sometimes I'm looking at it and I know it's there. <laughs> <laughs> I still can't see it. <laughs> Just came back from safari and we're knackered but i'm gonna do the room tour super super quick <laughs> i don't know if there's even gonna be enough light in here okay you got we've got our tiny little lights brand doing most of the bulk work <laughs> um, yeah we've finally got two beds thankfully much to brandon's dismay <laughs> and in here to the bathroom which is open to the air it was actually kind of nice so the reason i'm showing you all this now and not later when the sun is up because we're actually doing a night drive next and so we're gonna go to sleep more or less now and uh up at five yeah that's it. yeah for oh, five for a morning drive and hopefully see some more leopards We are up at the crack of dawn at five something and we're ready to go on a safari now. It's a very misty morning. It's really, really pretty. Where this was our accommodation last night, where we have a thatched roof and kind of an open air system, but within there, so we went up the steps. There's actually a tent laid in there on top of the foundations. So it's very secure and there's no bugs or anything getting in. Because as you can imagine, there are a lot of bugs. Good morning, mate. Got a wildlife photographer here, Brandon Farrelly. Here comes our ride. So with a morning versus like a night drive or an evening drive, is there a difference in what you'll see, do you know? Um, I guess some animals might be more active because it's their first thing in the morning, yeah? Like what kind of animals would be more active in the morning? Morning, yeah, the... Most usually. All of the, all of the, all of the animals? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Why is that? Sure. So they all have their siesta during the day? <laughs> yeah. Doing it right. I'm telling you, man, there's, there's some stuff we can learn from the animal kingdom still. <laughs> My big question is, what type of bear is Baloo? Baloo is a soft bear. A what? A soft bear. A soft bear. The one that's there in the cities. So they, they have them here? Yep. Yeah. Oh, you did say yesterday that our chance of seeing one of them is like, less than the chance we'll see a leopard. Plus, we saw a leopard within about 20 minutes yesterday, so what's that say? So? <laughs> we're gonna see a balloon today. <laughs> 100% sure if I use the bare necessities, it's gonna copyright strike me, so... I'm not, I'm not gonna try that. <laughs> Disney, Disney is throwing your channel to the ground. Yeah! Before you even start to build like, Second video in, Bird is at, uh, <laughs> Disney's after me. <laughs> for a copyright strike, like. You know, I actually got one on the last video. Huh? I got one on the last video. Really?
far, did you? Yeah, no, I really did. The, like you were saying, though, it's a shame we didn't see any uh, any elephants. Mm. I'm actually surprised how we didn't see such like huge, you know, animals. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was like pretty dense forest all around, and yeah, there yeah. was not. I have to say, like, I was kind of surprised by how much, like, how dense it was. I thought it was going to be, like, a lot more kind of open areas. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, a bit of a shame we didn't get to see the elephants, but... And our leopard shot was, uh... A back shot. Like, tenuous, at best. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if I can get some B-roll of leopards, because that was a bit, like, <laughs> anticlimactic, <laughs> let's say the least. Uh, here's some leopards we didn't see. Yeah. <laughs> Where are we on? First, well, we've just filled up the tank, which was like 30 quid or 9,000, no, 30 euro or 9,000 rupees. And now we are going to Siguria. Siguria. Yeah. Which yes. I'm particularly excited about, to be honest. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Go see a big rock. Well, it's not just a rock, it's a settlement. That it's a boulder. Like, it's a boulder. It's a stone. <laughs> no, it's like, you know, that is something. Rich history. Like oh, yeah, no, I, absolutely, absolutely. I'm looking forward to it. Yes. Somewhere right. new. Next yeah. part of our adventure. Brown's just saying random words. Um, <laughs> cave Rock Temple. Brandon thinks we're at the Cave Rock Temple. We went to Siguria, but it was closed by the time we got there. You know, that's okay. But so we decided to come. Yeah, we decided. We, this was a, <laughs> this is a joint decision. Um, I may have decided <laughs> we try out. This other place, um, not entirely sure where it is, but it's <laughs> up a shit ton of stairs. <laughs> and Brandon is horrified by that fact. <laughs> I really am. More so shit ton of steps in the pitch black. Th there is that, I mean, without your light. Uneven steps as well. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, anything else you look at? It's no, no, slippery, no. it's wet. Yeah, okay, yeah, you know, I'm wrong, but you know. <laughs> if you've got more ideas or, suggest or suggestions, go ahead. Uh, I see this, we go up to the top and we see what the view is like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Be honest with me. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> I don't think you're going to be able to make it out. Huh? We've basically been walking with this huge cliff to this side and then humongous trees and a forest on this side so the path keeps winding the whole way up and we have no idea how long it actually is going to take to the top but uh hopefully the views will be worth it even in darkness i mean that's the plan right bran i don't think it'll be worth it <laughs> we ain't gonna see shit <laughs> love the optimism okay we're trying to go up and uh it's a little bit of an obstacle course with ropes to guide us and arrows to point us, but Brandon's ecstatic and he can't wait. I think we're at the top because there's a big Buddha. Big Buddha. It is a Buddha. It's not a Buddha. We're in Tindy. What is it? It could be a Buddha. Could be a Buddha? Ooh, I can do like puppets. How'd you like the view, Bran? Yeah, well, it's better than I expected for this time of night. It's not bad. Look at our morning visitor. Brad? Yeah? There's a monkey outside our window. The view, exactly where we want to go. Seems to be like in a rush anywhere or... We have just arrived in Siguria. And this is basically the base level of it, where we have all our moats. And it warned us not to go in because there are crocodiles about. Yeah, so Siguria is known for, uh, according to Google, 
uh, it is known for its uh, landscape architecture and then the terrace fields and gardens that surround the property, not only just the you know urban architecture that we're going to find on the top. And I think we've just found the car park. No, nope, because it says no cars. No cars. Not the car park. Uh, <laughs> Where do we go then? Foreign tourists is there. Drive it up and see if we find it. Yeah. Until someone turns us around, I guess. I think it just does a loop though. You know? It has to be back there where you can park. Did it say no parking? There's a specific there's a sign that explicitly says no cars. This is the Sigiria Museum. The car park was exactly where I thought it was, and I'm just knowing that Brandon made a mistake, because he rarely does. But this is where you get your tickets from this building as a foreigner. There's another station uh, over there, which I'll show you, which is for locals, and the price for foreigners is $30. You can pay in rupees or you can pay by card, which is what we did when we got here. We also have, I guess we have a guide now. I mean, the guy kind of ambushed us, but he seems nice. Sorry. Nice to meet you. I'm Sean, nice yeah. to meet you. itself is about 200 meters above the jungle below and it's about 360 meters above sea level. I'm telling you it's about 30 something degrees right now Celsius. I'm already sweating <laughs> like crazy and uh, it's only gonna get hotter and more humid as we go so we'll see if we can make it. So here you have the water fountain where the water you know, pumps up and he's saying that this actually still works during rainy season, which is just incredible because you had basically the pressure from the water that's collected at the top goes down through these pipes and through this windmill system, it comes all the way down and then it services the baths and it services all the fountains throughout the park. That's just incredible. That's wicked, isn't it? So all these walls, those boulders are just behind them and they just cut into the brick to hold the supports for the bricks. That's brilliant. It's like secret entrances everywhere. Secret passageways, just trees, nature, everywhere. It's so beautiful. That's Cobra Head. See this natural cliff cantilever here? This is why I don't believe you engineers when you say you can't do it. Look at that. It has a huge weight on top of it. Big cobra head. And yet, when I design something with a cantilever, all of a sudden the engineer's like, no, 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 that's not possible. Clearly it is. Two mod and two rampart. Yeah. So enemies come, yeah. number of people cannot go like this space, only few can go one time, yeah. then yeah. they can kill easily. It's funneling them, <laughs> like the, uh, you know, 300 Spartans? Oh yeah. <laughs> like that. This is Sparta! There's no elevator, no? No elevator. <laughs> <sighs> I feel like I'm always looking for an elevator in these videos. <laughs> So I don't know if the camera picks it up, but there's these like balancing rocks in between. And he was saying if it's ever uh, if it's ever attacked, 
Basically, they just knock those, and then this whole huge thing will slide off the cliff. That's like some Jedi Fallen Order kind of stuff. Damn. And this was the military barracks here. So obviously it was never used because it's still there. But uh, it'd be a pain in the ass to try to bring that thing back up again. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Jesus, yeah. I'm going to carry myself up here. <laughs> it's a long way. From all the photos, I thought these lion paw prints were at the very bottom. No. They're about halfway up. So I guess we're only starting the real climb now. Before, there is a complete lion face with an open mouth. They climb through the lion mouth. You have, right. you have to imagine how big lion face when you see yeah, it. Yeah. But it's a wall all the way to the top. After lion face. Like a brick wall? Bit, yeah, brick walls. Yeah. Um, from where, sorry? From there? Yeah, 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 below that railing, you see? Yeah, yeah. So, there is a wall all the way to the top. F from there on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Between, they climb through the land mouth, then after land phase, they will climb between wall and rock. They That's amazing. Them, wall fell down to land phase, and land phase also gone, because yeah. they will land phase by fire brick and cover by lime plaster. Uh-huh. So, that's right. It's gone. We don't know when. Long, long Is there any like drawings of it or Just anything? Imagination. Just, Just imagination. Just imagination. Wow. Just across here. Just there. That other rock is where I was last night. God, every time I get to the top, I think it's the top and it's not. Here. The monkey just stole my water. <laughs> monkey just stole my water. <laughs> what? A monkey just stole my water. Kevin, I think one job then. I'm so sorry. Well, at least we're at the top. Yeah. That car is like over there somewhere. Where is it? Somewhere over that direction, I think. So we came in there. No, we came in there and around, didn't we? So it's somewhere in the trees. I think our car is yeah, here. Cause that's the entrance. Yeah. And then we parked there. Yeah. And if we had Brandon's uh, directions, we would have parked way over there. <laughs> <laughs> and did the, the original king die of old age or was he killed? Or? No, he'd be a suicide. I will tell you that later. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Oh, spoiler. wow. Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get the tea. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, imagine you had 500 wives and you killed yourself. <laughs> Jesus. Everybody's got problems. Remember that. Mental health awareness. <laughs> Does uh, this make you want to go to Machu Picchu by any chance? I mean, I'd love to go to Machu Picchu. Yeah? I'm just not sure I'd be like physically able for Machu Picchu. Oh, come on. We'll train up and we'll go to Machu Picchu. <laughs> what do you say? I'm sure Machu Picchu must have a good time. <laughs> you think? <laughs> <laughs> throw me over the back of the lava. I'll do the best. <laughs> what did we have to do to get out here? We had to cross the moats, pay our tickets. <laughs> um, Climb 1,200 steps. Climb 200 meters in steps. Um, so 1,202 steps. That's what he said. Was it? He said specifically 1,202. Okay. <laughs> uh, that many steps. Sweat. An awful lot. I don't think there's an ounce of water left in my body. <laughs> but I'm telling you, I'm gonna move to Sri Lanka. This is gonna be my gaff. <laughs>
If I don't become rich and famous and get a place like this, I don't want it. I don't want it. No, that's a lie. Ireland's having a housing crisis. Please give me a gaff. I would kill for a house. Would you build a lift up here though? Give me a stair lift. Because then I get to say like, who really wants to come see me? Nobody. <laughs> Mm. Like, I'm sorry, you're, you're coming to see me if you're building steps out high of your house. <laughs> well, I came to Sri Lanka for you. <laughs> Does that not count? You came to Sri Lanka for your vlog. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. I came here a little bit for you guys. <laughs>